got dropped back off at the trailhead. Uh, a guy named Malcolm, a trail angel. Ready to get back out here. Next section. See you up there, man. We gotta cross this thing. This is way da more dangerous than any river crossing or pass that we've done. Oh my god. nine miles out of Echo Lake Summit. We are camped at mile 1099, so we'll hit mile 1100 first thing in the morning. Today's gonna be a pretty big day. We are gonna hit our last pass, Dick's Pass, and we're gonna hit mile 1100 today. So, pretty excited about that. The terrain's starting to flatten out a little bit, so I think we're gonna start getting some more miles in and maybe try to have a chance of finishing sometime in October. But uh, should be another beautiful day. It's already getting hot. It's only about 7.30. Ready to go. So yesterday, on our way from uh, getting dropped off, the little nine mile section we did, we ran into our buddy Seabass, who had uh, fallen on Glen Pass. And he's, you know, he went up north and hiked south. So we crossed paths with him yesterday. Got to talk to him for a little bit. He's doing really good. Uh, really good to see him and talk to him. And know he's good and having a good time still. So, a little update on Seabass. Uh, he's gonna go finish out the Sierras and, uh, and then skip back up north to where he started south. So there's a chance that we could still hike with him in the next few weeks or a month or so. But uh, we'll see. A couple of us are thinking about going up to trail days too, so might be a little reunion party there. Keep you posted on that. Just got my water from there. Here's what I'm working with this morning. Yeah, not bad. Thousands of little baby trouts. You can see the big dogs in there. The water is crystal clear. I'm a purist. I want to stay on the trail as much as I can. So I'm gonna take the hard way. That was a beautiful mistake. I got off trail probably like an hour ago and started heading towards this lake that I thought I was supposed to be heading towards. And it was the wrong lake. Just climbed down like a thousand feet of elevation, but ended up at the bottom of that Susie Lake outlet with that big waterfall. And that was probably the most beautiful waterfall I've seen on the trail yet. So I just wasted an hour and a half and a lot of energy but it was worth it i just actually spent more time and sat at the bottom of that waterfall for like 15 minutes so 
Oh well. Back on trail though. Oh yeah, mile 1,111, that was an easy one to make. Good morning. This was camp last night. We were getting packed up. We camped at mile 1128. We did around 29 miles yesterday. We're gonna try to do 25 today and make it to the Donner Ski Ranch for a free 42 ounce beer and some dinner. That's the plan today. We'll see you guys later. today check this view out Lake Tahoe Stopped here for lunch. This is the Squaw Valley Ski Resort. Home of the 1960 Olympics. ski resort I've walked through today. It's crazy. Here's camp last night. Here's right along Highway 80. 
We were at Donner Ski Ranch till it closed last night, so we did not make it far. Good morning, life. Good morning, sun. How are you? Skies above. Jeep's great to be alive and love. Good morning. We're out on trail. Had to pack up camp kind of quick this morning. We were camped illegally on the side of the road there. We were uh, at the ski lodge till it closed last night and only managed to make it about zero miles. So this morning we got up and there was some ranger looking lady across the street like on a walkie talkie and looking over at us. So we decided it'd probably be best to get our things together and leave. So I believe that we have avoided authorities. Hopefully they're not waiting up here at the next road for us. But uh, whatever, that was fun. The uh, Downer Ski Ranch is a lot of fun. It's only 0.2 miles off the trail. They got a pretty good selection of food, good beers, and you get a free 42 ounce King Cobra just for bringing your permit in. But uh, goal today is we're just gonna do just over 26 miles. Uh, if we do that, that'll be our third marathon day in a row. Definitely feeling it a little bit. I'm sore. I uh, got a little blister on one of my toes. Other than that, gonna push on through, just get stronger. Right now I'm walking under Highway 80. This highway stretches from San Francisco all the way to New Jersey for 2,900 miles. Kind of crazy a big T that we're coming to right here. Kind of neat. So me and uh, Butter and uh, Machine just had our photographs taken by a guy on Instagram. He goes by PCT People Project. And he's been doing stops all along the trail this year, taking photos of PCT hikers. Uh, he said he's close to like 400 hikers he's stopped and talked to, uh, photographed them and put them up on Instagram and planning on doing a book at the end of the year if uh, he can get enough interest into it. So go check out his photos. They're really nice. Um, I should be up there at some point too if you want to see another amazing picture of me. Good morning, just waking up. Camped last night at mile 1180. Sun is just getting ready to come up. Check this out. Good morning, out on trail this morning. Already a couple miles in. Camped last night at mile 1180. Uh, we are about 15 miles outside of the town of Sierra City. So we're gonna uh, go in there, hopefully be there early afternoon, get our resupply done. And then uh, the church in town lets you camp in their on their property. So we'll probably do that. 
and then uh, hit a breakfast spot up in the morning and then head back out tomorrow. It's so beautiful out this morning. Nice and cool. Sun's just coming up and gonna be a good day. Yeah, I'm going to